Hello, this is DC Data Reddy, Triple E, DRID, Hello, this is Radish, DRID, Fortier. Hi, DC Krishna, DRID, Fine Day. Hi, this is Megan, Triple E Department, DRID. We have done a project on Signal Generator using Lab View under the guidance of GFB Ocean Reddy. Thank you. Let us discuss about signal generator. Signal generator is a device that can produce different types of waveforms. It is also known as function generator or wave generator. In this project, we designed a signal generator using LabVIEW software by interfacing it with Arduino UNO PC. The main advantage of this project it is of low cost about 50 rupees. With this, we can produce waveforms like sine wave square wave, triangular wave, sawtooth wave of over a range of frequency. Usually many engineers and technicians require test signals for testing purpose. For all the purpose they require signal generators. There are many hardware circuits for signal generators. Nowadays software developed signal generators are in usage because of its low cost and simple operation. The applications of signal generator include by using this we can measure frequency response of bandpass filter and measure switching characteristics of IGBT. For example, we use triangular waves for scanning an electronic beam on a CRT screen and in the time modulation and we can tell the condition of amplifier by giving a square wave at input and observing the response. Let us discuss about the components of signal generator. Firstly, lab view, Arduino UNO kit, analog amplifier and CRO. Let us discuss about lab view. It is a graphical programming language. With this we can interface hardware device and control them by using the virtual machine. Later and discuss about Arduino UNO kit. It is used for internal interfacing purpose. It contains 14 digital input and output pins, 6 analog input pins. We use 6 pin as PWM output. Coming to analog amplifier. Here we use LM741 OPM in non-inverting amplifier mode. In this, 15 plus 15 volt and minus 15 volt is generated using this DC power supply circuit. Let us discuss the components. Bridge rectifier. LM7815 voltage regulator, LM7915 voltage regulator, heat switch. This plus 15 and minus 15 voltage is applied to 4 and 7 pins of LM741 which amplifies the voltage of input terminal. Let's describe about the block diagram of signal generator. We took a switch scale structure for implementing 5 different cases. First one, sine wave, square wave, triangular wave, sawtooth wave, and it was DC as default. In each case, we take a simulate signal which generates different signals. We took three controls for amplitude, frequency, DC offset. We took another control which is of enum type to change the signal type. We connect this block to case selector pin or switch case. In each case, we connect the output pin of simulate signal to waveform graph which is also connected to PWM write block in Arduino. Here we took 115200 as board write. Here this numeric constant specifies the string number at which we are getting output. Let us discuss about the working of signal generator. Here we are generating signals in lab view. This is a block diagram of signal generator. They are brought out by interfacing LabVIEW with Arduino. As Arduino output is of low voltage range, we are using an analog amplifier for increasing voltage. Here we use non-inverting amplifier using OPAMP LM741. The output of amplifier is applied to RC circuit. And the response is seen in CRO. Here. We can see charging and discharging waves in CRO.
Today we conclude that we generate different things using learning. The main advantage of our project is low cost and how similar the